And if I can get this to change. Um, we have the pandemic. We have social distance guidelines. We have masking mandates. We have group gathering guidelines. And we have a popcorn sale. Um, and so this could easily create some stressed out popcorn chairs. And um, this has been me a few times with my co-chair, Tina, trying to figure out how we're going to do everything. But regardless of what's happening, we can definitely still have a popcorn kickoff that pops. As long as we remember purpose, organization, and play. Um, as the popcorn chair, you've been behind the scenes preparing for all things related to selling popcorn. And the kickoff is your public presentation. It's your first opportunity to interact face to face with your families, and it's your opportunity to get them ready for a successful sale. Um, and like I said, the three keys to a successful popcorn kickoff and really even a sale are purpose, organization, and play. And um, at PAC246, we keep these three words at the forefront um, of our planning and execution, um, just to help ensure that our kickoff and even our entire popcorn sale runs smoother. And as we go through this today, and you hear me talk about kickoffs, you're gonna hear me talk about traditional kickoffs, uh, which are really just kickoffs held before 2020, and then virtual kickoffs as well. Uh, which hopefully we'll just have to worry about this one year and then we can move back to uh, what we normally do. And I know organizations are making decisions now on how they're going to handle in-person meetings. So I want to provide ideas and suggestions for both in-person and virtual. And the greatest thing about making your kickoff pop is that purpose, organization, and play apply to any type of kickoff, whether it's in-person or it's virtual. Uh, so purpose. Your kickoff sets the tone for the entire sale. And as I said earlier, the kickoff is your public presentation. And it's your first opportunity to help your families understand the importance of why you're selling popcorn. So you need to think about how your sale is going to run. Uh, do you want it to be a positive experience for everyone? Do you want your scouts to be excited? Do you want your families to feel informed and supported? And the answer to all of these is obviously yes. And so the kickoff is where you're going to start this positive experience for your scout families. Uh, the kickoff is your opportunity to share your PAC sales goals. Um, so hopefully before your kickoff, you've met with your committee, you know what you wanna raise, you know what you wanna do with your money, and so this is your opportunity to show your family your PAC plan and how the money earned from the sale is going to benefit each scout. Um, if you're planning a trip or if you're purchasing special supplies for a camp out and you're using the funds from your popcorn sale, you're going to share this at the kickoff. Um, it's just another way to get them excited and get parent buy-in and scout buy-in too. Um, the kickoff should provide information, education, and motivation for your parents and your scouts. Uh, Trails End offers great videos to share with your scouts and your parents. Um, and these are found in the training session of the Trails End dashboard. Um, so if, as a popcorn chair, if you log into Trails End, on the left-hand side of the dashboard, you're going to see training. And when you click on that, it's a whole, um, opportunity of lots of uh, education that you can use for yourself and your families. And of course, the kickoff is an opportunity to educate everyone and help them understand how the popcorn sale benefits them. Um, scouts who are excited and know they are working towards a specific goal or prize are going to work harder and be more engaged in the sale. Um, but scouts can't do it alone and you have to earn the parent buy-in as well. So as I was preparing this and I was thinking back to our previous kickoffs, um, we have a lot of fun with our kickoffs. Uh, we've tried different things over the years and some quick tips I think that have worked every single year for us are number one, be prepared. Um, you know your families better than anyone. Anticipate what questions they may have 
Um, if, you if you questioned it, they're probably going to question it too. Um, and be ready to answer their questions. Um, you know what they need to know, so have all of that information ready for them. Um, you know, don't get up there and be like, oh, I've, you know, we'll worry about this section of the Trails End app later. You want them to know everything they need to know at the kickoff. Uh, my suggestion for a traditional kickoff is to host separate gatherings for parents and scouts. And this works really well for our pack. Uh, for example, we hold our kickoff at a school. The scouts are dropped off in the gym where they move through stations and learn about the popcorn sale. Um, while they're doing their scout activities, our parents meet in the cafeteria and we review the popcorn plan. And so they're able to focus on the information we're giving them without having their scouts, you know, running around and telling them to be quiet. They can just focus on what they need to know. Um, this allows us to present the sale in an age appropriate way. Um, so it's less stressful for the parents. It's more exciting for the scouts. Our popcorn chair leads the parent meeting and then our den leaders guide the scout portion of the kickoff. Uh, so everyone has a job. Everyone knows what they need to do. And then we're able to present the scouts the same information that the parents are learning, but in a way that they're more interested in. Um, something else we like to do is show videos. Um, and I have an example of one of the Trails In videos. And hopefully it works. Trails In wasn't working for me this morning. Hi, my name's Ender, and I'm so worth $30,000 in Trails In popcorn. I will share with you my three steps to success. Step one. Always wear a uniform and introduce yourself with a smile. Step two, practice your popcorn sales speech. Step three, always say thank you, even if the customers do not make a purchase. Pretty easy, right? Now let's practice that sales speech. Mine goes like this. Hi, my name is Ender. I'm running my own summer camp. Can I carry a sport? All of the popcorn is delicious, and you'll have fun many adventures in Scout. If you don't have any cash, don't worry. I can take credit cards. Now it's your turn. Find a partner and practice your speech at least three times. So we use a lot of videos. Um, Yeah, so we use a lot of um, videos, interactive opportunities, just to help um, our scouts um, get excited and see other kids who are, who are uh, selling popcorn. The next aspect that's important, the next uh, thing to remember is organization. An organization is definitely key to a successful sale. Um, if your pack is not organized, your sale is not going to be as successful as it could be. Um, you need a plan. There's many components to the council's popcorn sale. There's a lot. If you've done this before, you know it's a lot. And having a plan helps guide and ensure that you as the popcorn chair don't forget something. And you know your family's the best. You know what they respond to. You know what um, formats work best for them. Do they like videos? Do they need hands-on instruction? Um, do they need you to sit next to them and show them how to use the app? Um, do what you know is going to work best for your families. And like I said, use visuals, um, videos, demonstrations, displays, popcorn samples, Make your kickoffs interactive. Um, the kickoff doesn't have to be boring, it should be fun. Um, we treat ours kind of like a party. Um, it's one of the bigger events we have when the new Scout year starts. And so we, we try to just generate a lot of excitement, not just for the popcorn sale, but for, our, for Cub Scouts in general. Uh, some quick tips for organization. Again, be prepared. Utilize the information that's available to you. You don't have to feel overwhelmed. You don't have to feel like you have to recreate training resources for your families. 
um, the information you need is already out there, use it. Um, something that Trails End is offering this year, and I think it, it has a lot of potential to be very helpful for us as popcorn shares, is the Trails End kickoff presentation. And this is a PowerPoint presentation that Trails End has created. Um, again, it's under the training in the dashboard. Um, if you go down here to popcorn kickoff, you'll see unit kickoff presentation. And as Trails End continues to add sales tools and increase the app abilities, we as popcorn chairs have to help our parents learn and know what to do with this technology. And so you can utilize the Trails End kickoff presentation. And hopefully, I'm not sure it's going to open. Here it is. I'll give it a few seconds. It's been taking a while to open this morning. Here we go. Um, so this is just a PowerPoint that you can customize and it covers all aspects of the Trails End app. Um, it'll walk your units through everything that parents need to know. Um, and I'll scroll through here and click on some. It's, a, it's really just a quick reference guide to how to use the app. Um, and something I did want to point out that this is really nice. If you text down here at the bottom, app guide to 26771, you will get um, a link on your phone to download, download the quick start guide. And I did that yesterday. And so parents can actually have an app guide available on their phone to use throughout the sale. And I thought that was um, a great resource for our families. Um, the PowerPoint includes information about the trails and rewards, selling online. Um, it's really everything parents need to know related to the Trails End app. And again, that is on the dashboard of your popcorn um, site. Uh, it is long. It's 20, I think 27 slides. Um, so if you don't want to set through all of that during your popcorn kickoff, because that can get long and tedious, you can pull slides from it to present to your families and then just email this PowerPoint out to them to use as a reference. Amy, um, they can go through it and if they have questions, they can contact you. Um, Amy, can so I, I interrupt you just your families. Can I interrupt you just a second? Yeah. Can, can, can you try to reshare that PowerPoint slideshow? Because I don't think um, it came up. Oh, you can't see it? No. We're still seeing the app, the oh. kernel app, the, the kernel page where the, the showing the links of the kickoff. Yeah. Can you see it now? Amy, no. you probably have that individual page shared and you'll have to unshare and reshare again. Oh, yep. Give me just a second. I can do that. Yeah, you can choose to share a specific screen or you can choose to share like the browser all together and you're probably just sharing this specific screen. I am, you're right. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. That's okay. How about now? There we uh, Now you're in the, the PowerPoint slideshow, yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, so let me back up. So this is the first slide um, and it's you can customize it. So you can enter, um, so we do pack 246 and you can change the date. And then, like I said, it goes through all things related to the Trails End app and the popcorn sale. Um, and it's just a great resource. Um, if you, as a popcorn chair, are trying to figure out what information you need to share with your families, this is a good place to start. Just to say, hey, okay, this is what we need to do. Um, and like I said, it goes through everything, the rewards, how to sell online, what wagon sales are. Um, it talks about credit cards, talks about the products. Um, and then here it has a page key dates. Of course, these don't apply to us, but you can customize it. So you can add, um, you know, if you have dates specific to your pack, you can add something, you know, popcorn, turn in, whatever you need to do. Yeah. So again, you just don't have to recreate. 
Amy, and let's let's review a couple points too. This is set up by Trails End, and every council is different with products that might be sold, pricing that might be sold, dates that are out there, and, and a couple different points. So there is some customization that you're going to need to make comparison points before you advertise what's exactly out there. Okay. So for instance, in the online sales system, uh, th this promotion may talk about free shipping if it's over $30 or over $40 or it's $7.99 for the first item and 99 cents for item two or three. Well, those parameters may change at different times during the sale. So be sure to double check that before you offer your unit kickoff. And also we'll be providing uh, links for this information also through the council's webpage as well. But using the Trails End uh, site is really helpful. And you can also find the uh, Trails End app help form, which is like a two page uh, document as well as a separate document too. And it's also in this book and it's also in the unit kernel guidebook. So back to you, Amy, sorry about that. No, oh, no, I'm glad you said that. Will that information be um, updated to us as popcorn cheers on a regular basis, or will it be up to us to, to go out and double check it? At this time right now, Trails End knows that they're in trouble regarding communications with changing shipping costs. If anybody is following them in Facebook over the last uh, four or five days, uh, there's been a lot of discussion in their Facebook pages about it. Um, some councils were aware of the changes, some of them weren't real crazy about it. So bottom line, it, there's going to be some pilot programs over the next several weeks that our council may raise our hand for and say, yes, we'd like to be a part of it or we may not. Uh, so for instance, uh, Trails End tried a free shipping uh, the very first weekend in July. And then later on, uh, they said, we're, we'll try free shipping at everything over $30. And they're getting ready to try another test down the road about free shipping for everything over $40. So they're trying to find that measurement stick as to maximizing returns for your units, still enticing uh, online sales to happen faster and more often than before. Uh, so it, it's going to change. And also, if you remember, online products have changed a lot throughout a calendar year. Um, we, we don't expect it to change as much this year because a majority of the products being offered online are being custom made to order. So there's a little bit of a lag time of possibly two weeks before a customer may get that product. So, okay. All right, uh, let me go back to my other screen. All right, can you see the kickoff that pops again? You're good. Okay, great. All right, so the last part of organization is a popcorn plan for your families. And the popcorn plan might be what our pack considers one of the most important documents that we hand out to our families. Uh, in a traditional year, the popcorn plan for Pack 246 is a 10-page document that covers anything and everything related to the popcorn sale. Um, it walks a parent through every step of the sale from the very first day of kickoff to the popcorn celebration in November. Um, anything that our families need to know is included in that document. Um, and it just serves as a resource throughout the sale that they can go back and look at before contacting me or Tina to ask questions. Um, like I said, it, if you read it, it really does answer probably every single question that someone would have. Um, and we send that plan out about a week before our kickoff. Uh, that gives our families the opportunity to read through the plan, um, think of their questions, bring their questions to the kickoff. Hopefully we answer a lot of those questions during the kickoff but then they'll still have an opportunity um, to digest it, listen to the kickoff, and then ask whatever questions they have left at the end. Um, 
Another thing we do to help keep our kickoff moving is we ask our families to do their homework before they come to the kickoff. Uh, so last year they were asked to create their child's trails end account um, a couple of weeks before the kickoff to ensure that everyone had it finished when we brought them all together at the kickoff. We ask everyone to download the app and have it on their phone when they came to the kickoff so that as we were working through and explaining things, they already had it um, pulled up on their phone ready to go. And like I said, that just keeps the kickoff moving. People have different um, abilities and knowledge of technology. So if you can get all of that done before time, beforehand, you don't have to spend a lot of time at your kickoff helping people figure out how to download the app or create their account. Um, and then don't kick don't keep your kickoff um going for hours we we cap ours at one hour um, there's no reason to drag it out um, everything they need to know um, you can communicate in an hour and then offer some time at the end for people who just don't get it or have specific questions you can let your experienced uh, popcorn sellers go home and you can have a short q a session with new people who maybe um are just feeling a little overwhelmed because I think we all know the popcorn sale can be overwhelming for new families um, and you don't want them to feel that way you want them to feel like um, they're supported and that they can do it and then the last um, and oh, this is just more about the popcorn plan um, and what we include in our parent guide uh, it includes contact information for the popcorn shares it includes every important date and deadline. So they know ahead of time, when, before the popcorn sale, every single deadline, days that money is due, days they need to pick up popcorn, they know all of this um, weeks ahead so they can plan accordingly. Um, our popcorn plan offers an explanation of the different ways to sell. Um, so we explain what it means to sell online. We explain what it means to do wagon sales or storefronts just so they understand when we're using this lingo, what we're talking about. Um, our popcorn plan includes every sales goal for our scouts. It includes our um, reward system within our own pack. And then it also talks about what prizes they can win through the trails and rewards. Um, our popcorn plan offers sales tips and guidelines. Uh, you know, we have lots of tips for how scouts can learn to sell. And we also have rules about, you know, not going into people's homes, um, not standing too close to the street. All of those things that parents need to know, maybe they didn't think of before they started selling popcorn. We just lay it out for them in this plan. And of course, how to instructions, how to use the app, how to collect money. Um, if you need to collect money by payment by check, who do they write the check out to? Um, it's again, it's just everything that you can think of that they might need to know all in one location um, they can print it out we do have families that print it and they carry it around with them to their storefront sales um, you know it's just a handy guide for them and the last part of a kickoff that pops is play um, and this is the fun stuff this is where you get people feeling good and excited uh, it's theme and decorations. You want to build excitement um, and you want to welcome your scouts. Uh, treat it like a party. You know, um, have decorations. If you have costumes, have someone in a costume. Um, prize tables, anything you know that's going to excite them. Uh, unveil your fun plans that your popcorn money is going to help fund. Um, have prizes. Everyone loves to win something. You know, scout door prizes could be something like um, Cub Scout supplies from the scout shop, Legos, uh, any little small toy or activity that you know your scouts will enjoy. And of course, don't forget your parents. Uh, we like to hand out raffle tickets. Um, every parent that walks in the door gets a ticket. Um, every parent that has their Trails End app on their phone or has done their homework gets a ticket. Um, if they ask questions, they get tickets. Um, we just try to encourage parent participation. And then we give out fun prizes, you know, $5 gift cards, 
uh, to restaurants or to Starbucks, you know, anything that we know our parents might like. We just uh, try to add a little fun component to that. We also like to have popcorn samples. Um, that might need to work a little differently this year because you have to be mindful of food safety guidelines in the pandemic. So you don't just want to have bags of popcorn sitting out with uh, parents grabbing handfuls. Um, but something that we do is we put them in the small condiment containers with a lid and we have those sitting out. Everybody gets to see them, can grab one, can take it home, try the popcorn, figure out what their favorite products are, and then they can use that to help sell the popcorn as well. Um, if you sold popcorn before, you know a lot of people will ask your scout what's their favorite product. Well, they're not going to know if they've never tried it. Um, so having popcorn samples available for them to try is very helpful. Um, something else to make your kickoff fun and playful is to have games. Um, one reason that we like to separate our scouts and our parents is to allow our to give our scouts the opportunity to play while learning during the popcorn sale. And traditionally, we like to divide our scouts into five groups, um, and then they move around the gym in stations, and each station is popcorn themed and offers something um, about the popcorn sale. So they're learning and they're having fun at the same time. Um, so just remember that when you're having your kickoff, you want to have fun. As the popcorn chair, you are kind of the face of your popcorn sale. So smile and have fun. And if your parents um, see you enjoying it, they're going to feel more relaxed and more apt to get involved in the popcorn sale. Uh, you want to build excitement. Give your family something to look forward to. Um, if your pack is able to plan something fun to use their popcorn money with, make that announcement at your kickoff. Uh, you know, put it on a poster, cover up the poster, and then unveil it. Um, again, prizes, lots of prizes, trails and samples, and um, some game ideas would be for your scouts um, as they're moving around in their stations, you know, they can try the popcorn, they could view a prize table, um, which would sh show them what kind of examples of prizes that they could possibly earn. Um, we do a door-to-door -door demonstration where we have some Boy Scouts come back who were experienced popcorn sellers. Uh, they stand behind a door, they put on funny costumes, and the, our Cub Scouts, you know, knock on the door to do a door-to-door -door sale. And when those kids open the door, they don't know who they're going to get. It's a different personality every time. So maybe it's someone super friendly and excited. Maybe it's someone, you know, grouchy and not interested in popcorn. And so the Boy Scouts do that role playing with them to help them practice just selling the popcorn. Um, and then we do, we do games. We do um, relay games with popcorn, you know, just silly, like, filling up the popcorn in a bucket and running back and forth. Um, and we also do matching games to help the kids learn about what products they're selling. And so I saw this graphic um, and I thought it would make a really easy matching game where you could easily print off these pictures of the products and cover up, you know, you could print out the prices and have the kids work together to just, you know, with an order form of you know, how much does salted popcorn cost? And they have to tell them, oh, it's $25. And they have to match all of the prices to the popcorn. And the first team would win you know, maybe a small prize or just bragging rights that they were the winner. And it helps the kids learn about what they're selling. So just, you can get creative. It doesn't have to be over the top. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can be very simple. Um, just like printing off these pictures, blowing them up a little bit, and having the kids match the price. So this year is obviously going to be different. Um, I don't know what everyone's planning. I know some people are still going to do a lot of in-person, um, and some people are probably looking at virtual. And I think virtual options may seem daunting if you're trying to plan an impactful kickoff but I think it's definitely doable um, and even an opportunity to just think outside the box. 
this year our pack is exploring virtual options and we're just trying to be very mindful when it comes to events and bringing our whole pack together. Um, we're looking at probably running a hybrid year uh, consisting of a combination of in-person and virtual activities. And so when we look at our kickoff, we feel that our kickoff can probably be held virtually um, and still get the parent buy-in for our families. Um, and so you'll have to, to think about your own families and what you think is best. But I just, I don't want people to shy away from virtual options because I think there's a lot of good possibilities out there. Um, one idea for a hybrid model is to host the parents portion um, with your back to school meeting. Um, and so maybe you, if you bring all your parents for a back to the pack event, maybe that's where you present the popcorn information at the end. Um, maybe it's a little shorter with more information emailed out than going through each piece in person. Um, another option is to present your parent information virtually on a, on a certain platform and then take the scout portion to the DIN meeting. Um, so if you go to each DIN meeting, you can have a mini popcorn kickoff for the smaller group of kids, which is maybe more manageable, keeping up with social distancing guidelines. Um, that's what we're considering doing, uh, is hosting a mini kickoff for each DIN at the DIN meeting. Um, and then it will be similar to the in-person kickoff. We'll still have games, we'll still practice selling, we'll have prizes, information, we'll have samples for the kids to take home, it's just on a smaller and a more manageable scale. If your pack needs to go virtual, there's many options that allow you to get creative while educating your families. Um, Zoom, you know, we're all on Zoom right now. This is definitely the closest to a traditional in-person meeting. This can be fun. Um, you know, decorate a backdrop that is behind you that's decorated for popcorn. Um, give away door prizes for people who participate. You can talk about popcorn products and drop off samples at your family's homes prior to the call or after the call. Um, so, you know, you provide snacks during the meeting still. Uh, you, can, you can also host Q&A Zoom calls if you want to have shorter meetings. Um, maybe you set up topics and the parents can log on to ask their questions. Or even Zoom calls for new, just new families. Um, you know, if you have kids who've sold popcorn for four or five years, they probably don't need a one hour Zoom call, but your new families probably need more, more information. So Zoom is definitely your closest to a traditional in-person meeting. And YouTube is another option. Create a series of kickoff videos that parents can listen to while they fold laundry or cook their dinner. Um, you know, our families are busy. They have a lot going on. And so some might um, really appreciate just being able to multitask and get all the information that they need. And again, um, include decorations. Ask questions that they have to answer via text or email. Um, and if they participate, they get registered to win a prize. Um, another option would be Facebook Live, Instagram Stories. Um, you know, you can generate popcorn excitement with short videos that parents see. Maybe you do a week of information and every day it's something different. Um, you can hold contests, announce your winners on your Facebook pages. Um, you could have parents email videos of their kids practicing selling popcorn. Um, I don't think we, we have to put ourselves in a, in the, back ourselves in the corner. I think we still have a lot of options to do virtual. Um, and something that we've been working with are Bitmoji slides. And if you are in education or you have kids who've been doing virtual school, you've probably seen their teachers creating these Bitmoji slides. Um, and so we created one that we're working on. And so welcome to pack 246's virtual kickoff in the park. Um, here I am, I'm smiling, I'm welcoming everybody. I've got my mask pulled down because I'm obviously sitting by myself outside. Um, we've got our hand sanitizer because we need mindful, need to be mindful of health guidelines. Um, we've got our Cub Scouts back here playing um, 
a game socially distanced. Uh, this is just made in uh, Google Slides. And you can get as creative and as silly as you want to, but it's an interactive way to bring your parents and your scouts together to still get all of the information that they need. Um, and so I created this one more for us today, but you can customize it to whatever information you need to get out to your families. Uh, we have everything that our regular kickoff would have. We've got decorations. Uh, we have our raffle tickets, so we're still giving prizes away for people who participate. Um, we have this cool popcorn decoration back here, and if I click on it, this is what we really like about this. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. If I click on that, you can go to a link. And so because it was a popcorn decoration, I just linked it back to different ideas for popcorn decorating for your party. Um, but you can add links to any of these graphics. So if you need to share information with your family, say, about the popcorn products that you're selling, you create the link to where they click on it, and it takes you to the Trails In website. Um, this one takes you to the Trails In website online site, but you could easily set up a page that shows the parents what they're selling and how much it costs with the council. Um, let's see. We also have our fun little volunteer back here in a pop popcorn costume. And if you click on that, it'll take you to where you could actually buy a popcorn costume. Um, so as you can see, you can just create links to everything that your parents need to know. Let's see, what else? Oh, we also have trails and prizes over here. If you click, oops. Yeah, there we go. If we click on the gift bag, it'll take you to the Trails End rewards page. And some of this. So that is our Bitmoji slide. It's just another way to have fun with um, the virtual option that we're faced with this year. And uh, the kids get really excited. My kids have done this um, at school and they have a really good time with it. Um, and I know it looks silly, um, but it's fun, so why not, why not try something new with your scouts this year? As I said, you can tailor things like this um, to whatever information that you're wanting and needing to share. And I just think this is a great platform of something, um, a great example of a platform that we never would have considered before the pandemic. Um, but why not try something new this year? And as I said, um, no matter what we're faced with this year, I think we can definitely make our kickoffs pop um, and still have a lot of fun with the popcorn sale. We don't know what, what it's going to be like, um, but I think it's important not to be afraid to try something new. Um, maybe this is the year to change it up a little bit. Um, I know our pack is trying to stay very positive about restrictions and guidelines and just use this year as an opportunity to Kind of evaluate what we've done in the past and what we want to keep doing um, for the future. Um, and so does anyone have any questions? So Amy in the chat, oh sorry John. <laughs> no go ahead Chris. Okay in the chat, um, well I guess uh, Tempra did she answer your to go over the app guidelines again? Was that I saw when when John had her bring it back up. Thank you. Okay. Right. I, was able to put it down. Okay. I I really appreciate this one. Amy. I enjoyed this one a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so the other question: Will there be an actual Blitz weekend? Um, I, John, as far as I understand, no, we are not doing a specifically Blitz weekend. Correct. Well, we're not we're, we're not doing a Blitz weekend. Um, and to be honest with you, we're still learning a little bit of the basics of some of the features in the app. Uh, what we're going to look to be doing is possibly holding some various promotions uh, during our traditional timelines of the sale. So we may look for uh, pushing out promotions to everybody with the app to say that if you sell $100 during this week, um, you'll be entered into prizes uh, through the council office. So very similar to the idea that Amy had. 
uh, in regards to providing opportunities of raffle prizes and things like that. We are looking to kind of clean out the prize closet, so to speak. If you remember, we had been providing prizes to units in the past uh, at a very deep discount on the purchase price of those items. We'll be looking to uh, clean out some of those items and offer those uh, to, uh, to our scouts in different ways. So uh, we will be holding some different promotions around uh, during the sale. So for instance, if your scout has already started selling online, that's great. And they're eligible for the Trails and Rewards already. And uh, so we're on our way. So we're, we're great. Um, and then the follow-up, will there be free shipping that weekend? Um, you know, obviously yeah. if we're not having it, we wouldn't have necessarily free shipping. And with the new Trails End announcements with, you know, the version of free shipping that they're piloting this weekend and possibly in the future. So we'll, we'll see how free shipping as far as the online sale goes as we continue in the sale. Yeah, exactly. The, the shipping costs uh, for online sales we know is a critical point. Uh, when we started online sales early in July, there was a free weekend for customers to use. Uh, Trails End has been trying some different pilots, trying to find what's the point that uh, consumers will jump and then still maximize the return to scouting. Um, so at one time we were hoping to provide a commission rate of 35% to our units for online sales. Well, with some of these free free shipping promotions, we've had to reduce that to 30%, and we've also reduced the council's commissions by as much as 10% as compared to last year. So um, the free shipping isn't always free, but at the same time too, we're trying to find the measurement sticks out there to still entice the customer to make the purchases uh, in the online sales programs. So we're trying to keep that up front. Um, if you guys have questions, you don't necessarily need to type them in now. If you want to just unmute yourselves and, you know, say them, that's, that's fine. But um, that, that was all the questions we had as far as the chat box went. So. Amy, can uh, you do Chris and I a favor and can you drop me your Bitmoji artwork slide? <laughs> sure. I have got a, a, a place where I want to use it as early as Tuesday. Okay. In, a in a presentation we're doing. I loved it. It looks great. <laughs> Thanks. That is actually a lot of fun. I, um, I was just going to do something really simple and I kind of got sucked into creating this whole little um, bitmoji world in the park. Um, yeah. My husband would walk by and be like, are you really still doing this? Like, I was like it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, it was great. I love the I love the hand sanitizer on the picnic table and yeah, yeah. Just, uh, you know, things are just things are so weird right now. I think, um, especially for for Cub Scouts, we just have to make the best of it um, and have fun with it. Uh, you know, I don't. We have no idea what to expect with our sale, but we're just trying to stay positive. And so this is just you know something silly to make people smile. Right. Well. Well, thank you again very, very much for, for your preparation and delivery of a great session for making your kickoff pop. It was terrific. Wow. It was awesome. Uh, it was meaningful. The volunteers on this call know that it took a lot of time to build this for today, and we appreciate it. So You're we welcome. are recording the session. Uh, we'll be posting it on the council's uh, page uh, in the website uh, in a few days. It takes a while to get it converted to via Zoom into a recordable point that will then be posted later on. So it will not be automatic. Uh, so it, it takes a little bit of effort down the road here, and we're going to be doing that with all of our sessions offered today in the Popcorn University. So, uh, so in the essence of time, we're going to wrap things up here on this session, unless there's anything else from Chris, Amy, or any other questions from people on the call. No, thanks for joining us today. Yes, without a doubt, it was a great session. So. Uh, at 10.30 Central Time, we have Inventory Management with Logan Robinson from the Native Trails District in the Newburgh area. And then we also have the new Commission Structure and Prize Program uh, with myself and Jack Pate. Um, and we'll be talking a little bit more about commissions and, and prizes uh, in the next session that we have starting in about 10 minutes. So thank you all very much. Uh, we wish you the best for your day and appreciate your participation in today's session. So. Thanks a bunch. Take care. Bye, everybody.